As a general rule, I try not to insert myself in the conversations that my supervisors are having with the people that they supervise because that's their job and I've got my job and I'm busy enough as it is. But I'm sitting in the office and we've got a supervisor that's being promoted out of being a supervisor. He's gonna be taking care of more operational things. And as a part of that, he's gotta train the guy that's gonna take his place, the new up and coming supervisor, if you will. And as I was listening to them go over their plan for the day, I heard everything and it was wonderful. I was super happy. And then very abruptly, the conversation ended. And I was like, wait a second, we're missing something. So at that point, I was like, uh, uh before you guys go, I need to know what the rest of the plan is. And the new supervisor looks at me and goes, the rest of the plan? And then looks to the old supervisor. The old supervisor just kind of like, yeah, I forgot. The old supervisor knows that I don't care what your plan is. I trust you to have a plan. I trained you to have a plan. You know the right way to do the job. I don't care what your plan is. I care what your plan is when your plan goes to crap, when everything goes wrong. That's what I care about. I wanna know that you got a primary plan and more importantly, a backup plan. I even want you to have a plan C. And that's how I train all my people. So whenever I see this supervisor training the new guy and he forgot it, I jumped in. This plays out in a whole bunch of ways. I mean. When you're going to the supply house, let's say that you're going to a job and you're gonna need 12 feet of pipe, 1290s, and 1245s. I can't think of a job that would use that, but whatever. And as you're sitting at the supply house and you order, do you get just the parts that you need? So that if anything goes wrong, you have to stop the job, drive back to the supply house, get more parts and come back and try again? Or do you look at the guy and go, you know what, I probably need 18 feet of pipe. Give me 1890s and 1845s. That way, if something goes wrong, I'm covered. Too many times, employers don't wanna pay for the extra parts because why are you buying that? You don't need it? Yes, I do. Shit's gonna go wrong. I'm gonna glue something wrong. Something's gonna happen. Or you get employees that go, well, I didn't think I was gonna need it. And the answer to that is you didn't think because every job that you've gone on has gone exactly the way you wanted it to. Hell no, it hasn't. You know it hasn't. Buy extra stuff. Now this isn't without difficulty. I mean, trying to explain to the accountant why we buy extra stuff or why truck stock keeps growing, that presents a challenge. Or getting employees to use their truck stock before they buy new stuff, also a problem. But what's more important is being prepared so you can take care of the customer. Spend a little extra. It'll save you more in the long run. And hey, this applies to your personal life too, okay? You're going on a road trip with the baby, it's gonna take four hours, you think you need two diapers? You know what, how about if we take half a dozen diapers, okay? You know, cause shit could hit the fan, literally, especially if you're dealing with babies. Stop planning for what you need and plan for what you could possibly need. I'll leave you with this quote from the military. There is no plan that survives contact with the enemy. If you make that part of your life, you'll do much better. Have a great day.